since 1996, Fountain Street Studios has grown from four artists sharing space with a bunch of small businesses to over 70 working artists and is now a standalone nonprofit. They recently held their debut fundraiser at the Deluxe Depot Diner. Celebrate Art in Framingham brought together artists, community members, and downtown advocates for a silent auction, hors d'oeuvres, music, and mingling. The event was part of Art Week Boston, and it showcased art from the Fountain Seat Studios. Framingham Downtown Renaissance Executive Director Holly Andrews was honored at the event for her dedication to making downtown a better place. Also celebrated at the event was Soren Bika, the artist that developed the design for the new mural just across from the tracks from the diner. The artists who provided works to be auctioned were on hand to help promote their work and each piece as the gallery was for sale. The auction raised money to support the Fountain Street Studios and to raise awareness for downtown Renaissance. All of this beautiful artwork around you, all these adornments were done by local artists, uh, uh, local artists actually. So yes, um, we are actually standing in the middle of a work of art. That's where we the Deluxe Depot Diner. Delicious food and wonderful drinks and the steampunk atmosphere you can't get any better than this. I'm surrounded by people who follow the dream to dig deeper and to express and to feel, to experiment and to build. And those of us who stand on the sidelines watching these artists, looking and admiring, we feel all the things that, you're, that you need for us to feel. And more as you respond to the lines and the hues or the edges and the textures that you create. And we work and move through this town of Birmingham in a local economy enriched by Fountain Street Studio. This event is a testament to the proof of the ideas, determination, and yes, sometimes fortitude of getting 